So that all came from, I, 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 I kind of referred to it earlier, there was an incident with a uh, nightclub in Columbia that Fat was playing. And he had played the club the year before. It was a club slash bar in the Vista. And the second year, there was a big stink when an owner didn't want any urban music <laughs> in his establishment. And it just set off a big firestorm. You know, Fat and I were doing all these interviews with LTX and IS. And, you know, everybody was kind of up in arms about this place that didn't want to play black music, et cetera, et cetera. And Fat had the idea of doing a benefit concert. Because at the time, I was getting all of these Facebook messages and direct messages and posted on my page from all type of different South Carolina artists, rock artists, country artists, you name it, you know, in full support of what, what we were doing, like, you know, what, what the establishment did was some bullshit, you know, because um, they canceled the show a week before the show and they had been promoting the show for like three, two, two or three months. And so everybody was up in arms about it. Uh, the mayor, it was, it was, it was wild. Fat had the idea to do a benefit show. He was like, yo, why don't we take all those artists that's hitting you up and we just tell all of them to come and do a hip hop song, right? And we donate the proceeds from that night to some charity or maybe we could donate them to several charities. That's where the idea came from. We were like, oh, that'd be dope. You know what I mean? Because his whole thing was let's show people what hip hop is actually about. You know, it's about peace, love, unity, having fun. Let's, let's do that. Again, I told you already, I'm the ambition machine. So, <laughs> so when he was like, let's do this one show, one night, you know, it could be a few hours, get, do it at some venue that, that already is down what we're doing. I had a city councilman hit, uh, uh, they were like, well, what are you guys planning to do? And I was like, we're planning to do this show. And they were like, well, why don't you just do a festival? If you do that, the city will sponsor it. You know, we might be able to give you funding for it. So my eyes went, pew, went back to King and Fat. I was like, yo, that was dope. But what if we do this? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And so that's kind of how it happened. And we ended up like at the last minute, the city put in a special request for funding for us. It was a measly amount of money. It was like $12,000, something like that. It was nothing. You know, not to do a festival in the middle of the street. You know, you got to pay for cops and advertising. We had to get an artist. We, who are you going to get for 12 grand? You know, let alone how, where's the advertising budget going to come from? You know, if you spend a grand on advertising, now you got 11 grand. You got to block off the street. You got to get cops. Now you got 10 grand. Like, it just goes down and down. But thankfully, you know, me being in the music business for so long as Shakis the Beast, you know, radio and TV and all that, I had a lot of connections in the industry and we were able to land Kumo D for a great deal. And uh, that first show that first year 2013 we thought we were going to have you know we were like 500 people we'd be happy you know we had one little block on main street one little block you know little strip you know 500 people we was like we out of here 4,000 people you know the first year and we just we cried you know 